To disable VSync in Fallout 4, you want to go to the Start menu, open up My Documents, open up My Games, open up the Fallout 4 folder, right click Fallout 4 Prefs, click Edit, press Ctrl F, type in I present interval click find next close the find window now it's showing us where the value that we want to change is so what we want to do is change the 1 to a 0 now we want to save this file so go file save and you can close out of the notepad window now and you have vsync disabled after you've done all that, make sure you don't change any of the settings under Options or the settings in-game because if you do, it will change the I present interval value from 0 back to 1, which will enable VSync, which is not what you want. So yeah, make sure you don't do that. Since Fallout 4's game engine speed is tied to FPS, if the game runs above 60 FPS, it will cause some bugs to occur. So to avoid this, we want to cap the FPS at 60 using programs such as NVIDIA Inspector for people with NVIDIA cards and MSI Afterburner for people with AMD cards. We'll start with NVIDIA first. For those with AMD cards, I'll put a timestamp in the description so you can skip to that section. So for NVIDIA cards, um, I want you to click the NVIDIA Inspector download link in the description. You want to scroll down and then click download NVIDIA Inspector 1.9.7.3. Either two of the links will be the same thing. So click that. The download will start in five seconds, so we'll wait. Okay, now I'm going to go to Start Menu, Documents, Downloads, and I'm going to extract the zip file. I use WinRAF for managing my zip files. So all I do is right click Extract to NVIDIA Inspector and it puts it in a new folder for me. So I'll open the NVIDIA Inspector folder and double click NVIDIA Inspector application. Click Run. You want to look for this wrench screwdriver icon. Click that and a window will pop up. Now under Profiles, you want to click the drop down arrow and type Fallout and click Fallout 4. And you want to find this frame rate limiter setting. What you want to do is click the setting value and a drop down arrow will come up. Click the drop down arrow and choose 60 FPS and click Apply Changes and then you can close out of NVIDIA Inspector. So that's the FPS capped with NVIDIA Inspector. Now on to MSI Afterburner. For those of you with AMD cards, we're going to be using a program that comes with MSI Afterburner to cap our FPS. So click the MSI Afterburner download link in the description and scroll down. Click download 4.1.1 stable slash final and wait five seconds for the download to start. I've already downloaded this so I don't have to re-download it again. So I'll cancel. Um, go to Start, Documents, Downloads and you will get a zip file called guru3d.com msi afterburner setup 411. Extract that and you should get a folder. Open that up open up guru3d.com and double click MSI Afterburner Setup 411 click Run choose your language, click OK next, I accept, next, next, next install select your language click OK I've already installed this so this is only going to show for me click next I accept next next install
uncheck show readme, click finished, uncheck run MSI afterburner and show readme, click finish. Now you want to look for River Tuna statistics server under all programs. So here's where mine's located. And you should get a system tray icon that's purple looking. Click that. And you want to look for this frame rate limit setting. It should be set to zero for you. What you want to do is change that setting to 60 and press enter. And you can minimize this window by clicking this arrow icon next to the X icon. And all you got to do is just run your game and it'll be capped at 60 FPS.